FRAPS uh, and on both the V-Sync side and the G-Sync side, make sure that FRAPS is ready and iconify uh, FRAPS. And then I'd like on the, on the V-Sync side, please launch the demo. Just on the V-Sync side. Now go ahead and click on the V-Sync button. We're going to start off in V-Sync mode. And I want you to hit a zero and then hit a one. And now hit a six for me. Now what this uh, demo does, it's designed by NVIDIA, and it's a very simple example demo. It's a pendulum. Okay, now what a pendulum does is it moves smooth. And what you can tell is just like Jensen said, when graphics are working as designed, you get a silky, kind of buttery feel, right? Yep. I'm oh, sorry. So if you look here, this is when the GPU is rendering very quickly. And we're rendering very quickly and showing it on a VSync display, and you're not seeing any tearing and any stutter. This is what I'll call traditional VSync perfection. Okay, now what I want everybody to do is hit a five. Now, what the five does in this application, we actually have a timing loop built into the application so we can control the render time. And then when we hit a five, what we did is added some extra load into the GPU cycle, and the frame rate is now 50. So we started off perfect, where we were rendering about every 16 milliseconds, a little bit faster, and now we're rendering about every 20 milliseconds. And what that leads to, this is actually a triple buffered uh, demo. So what this is leading to is uh, occasionally you're not able to keep up with the refresh rate. And so occasionally on the left hand side, what you'll notice is this strange pulsing. And, uh, and that is exactly what Jensen was talking about, that stutter. Now uh, just to make it super clear, let's go ahead and hit a six again. Okay, this is what it should look like. It should look nice and smooth, okay? But then hit a five, and this is when it starts stuttering, okay? 50 frames a second. Most everybody thinks that 50 frames a second is great, and almost everybody thinks that you can't tell the difference between 50 and 60. Well, let me tell you, you are completely uh, wrong, okay? <laughs> now go ahead and hit a four. Now what the 4 does is adds a little bit more timing load and we're now running at 40 frames a second. So at this point we're uh, rendering uh, you know, a little bit slower, the GPU is a little bit busier, and the frame rate is now a little bit slower and we're a little bit more out of sync with the monitor. Okay, so it's very clear that there's something going on and it's not right. It's sad, it's tragic, because the pendulum's beautiful. And uh, it just doesn't look that great on a, on a V-Sync monitor. So to make it super clear, what I want to do now is let that sit and on the G-Sync side, go ahead and launch the application. Now what's happening here is we're running at the same refresh rate, uh, our max refresh rate, and I'd like you guys to go ahead and hit a 6 and then hit a 0 and then hit a 1. Now we're in V-Sync mode and we're running at 60 frames a second. And it's actually, now can you guys synchronize, hit, hit a one on both guys at the same time? So you're looking at, I'm sorry, you're looking at 40 frames a second on the left and 60 frames a second as you would expect. The G-Sync monitor looks really good. The 40 frames a second does not look that great. Let's go ahead and hit a six on both sides. Okay, so now they should look identical. They're both rendering perfectly. Take it in, this is what perfect animation looks like, right? But the best part is hit a five. So what's happening here is on the left hand side, you're seeing that stutter that we already saw. Does everybody see that on the left hand side? It's pretty stunning. On the right hand side, G-Sync is active. And what's happening is the monitor is no longer updating at 60 frames a second. It's no longer running 60 hertz on the right hand side, it's actually running 50 hertz. And just soak it in. It's, it's such a dramatic difference uh, that I cannot imagine playing any other way. We have two identical systems, one here on the right, and there's one on the left. Traditional gaming monitor. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs>
But anyway, I think I think uh, everybody can uh, hopefully tell the difference. The the V sync monitor is doing that s subtle syncopation. So let's go ahead and hit a four. Okay, so now what's happening on the 4, again on the G6 side, you're now at 40 hertz on the monitor, and you're at 40 FPS in the game, and the animation is perfect. You are perfectly in sync, perfect harmony between the GPU and the monitor. Now on the left-hand side, on the V-Sync side, what you're seeing is again that, that, that syncopated, less than perfect, kind of sucky experience, right? We're all used to it. It's not great. Um, and I hope you can all see it, right? Is it all clear? It's, it's a phenomenon that's fundamental, as Jensen was saying, right? There's nothing that a traditional monitor can do. But, uh, but G-Sync actually is now making the monitor a slave to the GPU. As soon as the GPU finishes rendering, the monitor updates the frame in perfect sync. Hopefully you guys can see it. So let's go ahead and uh, take the next step. Now, uh, as you know, games have variable frame rates. So this is a fixed frame rate right now, but games are even more complicated because the frames are going to increase and they're going to decrease. So we actually built that into the tool. There's a slide on the top that's called, let me take a look at, I'm sorry, uh, V-Sync, oh yeah, we're going to do, well yeah, we're going to do V-Sync off. So on the left hand side, some people actually say, all right, well I know V-Sync on is not an acceptable experience, so I'm going to turn V-Sync off. So what I'd like everybody to do on the left hand side, on the V-Sync monitor, go ahead and click the button to turn V-Sync off. Okay, now what's interesting about this is not only do you get the benefit of tearing, but you also still have stutter. If you're looking at the V-Sync off side, you'll see that little line coming through, that's tearing. Um, but you, you still notice this syncopation, right? There's still something not right with the basic animation. And it's a little bit complicated to explain it, maybe we'll cover it in the 101s, but your monitor still has a fixed refresh rate, and the content is still a variable rate, so it's obviously going to have some kind of synchronization problem. Now the best part is people think that a higher frame rate makes this look better. So what I'd like to do now on the left hand side first, go to the frame time minimum slider and slide it up to slightly underneath the M in min. Okay, now what this does is, I, I told you we have a load that we're adding into the GPU, and what this slider does is it makes that load vary. So now we're going to vary the frame rate between 45 and about 60 frames a second on the, on the V-Sync side. And what you'll see is that tear line is going to move around. It's actually varying about 500 milliseconds. It's shifting from the max to the min, and it's doing it over and over and over with a period of 500 milliseconds. Now what you're seeing is the animation is less smooth, and the tearing is actually more distracting. So on the right hand side, now I'd like you to do the same thing. Slide the minimum frame time slider to the middle underneath the M. And what's super cool right now, you guys should be having a wow moment. At least I am. I'm having a personal epiphany. <laughs> this <laughs> is amazing because now you're seeing a variable frame rate in the GPU and you're actually seeing a variable refresh rate on the monitor. So what happens is the monitor's refresh rate is changing dynamically in sync with the GPU. You can see that frame rate on the upper right where it's varying between 45 and 60. What's happening is the monitor is refreshing in sync between 45 and 60. Okay, so you, sh you should right now be going, wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to guide you through your experience. Okay? So, uh, I personally get so excited when I see this because it's so, it's so clear. It's so obviously the right thing to do, right? Your, your monitor should be updating in, under control of your GPU. And there shouldn't be any synchronization error because it destroys the immersion of the game. It makes the experience very, very distracting. Okay, so I think we can take it up a notch. Let's go ahead and let this thing remain variable, but I'd like you to back out. To go ahead and click on the mouse, the zooming button, and back out of the, uh, of the scene a little bit. You'll guys see this is actually a gazebo, and you can see the, the, the columns on the left and the right. 
Um, and what I'd like the, the, the demo guys to do is go ahead and add a little bit of camera rotation to this. So slide it underneath the X, and we'll see the, the monitor, kind of the camera rotate a little bit. And now what's happening, if you look at this, is the animation on the right is still varying the frame rate between 40 and 60. On the left, it's still varying the same frame rate. But what you should be seeing is those columns are really painful to watch, right? <laughs> but on the right-hand side, what's amazing is you can actually track the text on that little guy. You can actually see fluid motion. You can see beautiful graphics. I mean, it, it, it really does dramatically affect your experience. I think even perhaps Damien is going to get this one, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. You know, I, I'm not sure yet. He's right here. I'm, wa I'm watching him. <laughs> okay. So uh, this is uh, this is I think pretty compelling. I want you all just to suck it up, take it in a little bit, enjoy it. I'm going to shut up. Suck it up. Suck it in. Suck it in. Sorry. Yeah, just think how much more we as developers could put on the screen if we weren't constantly solving for the 30 or 60 problem, right? I mean, you know, people go, we want way more stuff, way more stuff. Well, fine, but you you get way 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 more stuff with a drop in frame rate. Well, guess what? This eliminates the penalty for the drop in frame rate. Very cool. Or the potential to go much higher frame rate, too. Mm -hmm. Very cool, Mark. Does anybody know who this is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we found somebody on the street. Yeah. <laughs> Mark was... Uh, he just wanted to see a great demo. <laughs> the Rain, the the Rain family will be all getting new monitors. Comes in and takes over the show. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's pretty pretty. This serious. is the thing I tweeted about. So obviously you guys. Okay, so um, why don't we uh, why don't we do this a little bit just for kicks? Uh, you know, you know, I, I know I'm going to stay on script. I want to do some other stuff. We're going to let you guys play with this a little bit later. But let's go ahead and get out of here, and we'll show you a real game. So everybody hit escape, get out of the demo. And what I'd like both sides to do, V-Sync side and G-Sync side, go ahead and load Tomb Raider. Okay, now Tomb Raider on the left-hand side, I want to make sure it's V-Sync on. Okay, so on the V-Sync side, we're going to start with V-Sync on. Now again, both of these monitors are set to 60 hertz. Uh, this is obviously a, a, a good game I like. I think she's actually pretty hot. So uh, it's it's my my go-to game sometimes. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so go ahead and load up load up the second uh, second save point. <laughs> All right. Okay. Another night alone. <laughs> All right. So hey, Tracy is way hotter. Tracy's my girlfriend. She's way hotter. All right. So uh, what I want you to notice is now leave the right-hand side, the G-Sync side, alone for a second. And I want the left-hand side, the V-Sync side, to rotate slowly using the controller. Now what you'll see is the frame rate when you're into the mountain is around 50 frames a second. And believe it or not, it's stuttering pretty badly. When you come out over the water, it smooths out because the frame rate goes up above 60. So as you look in the water, you should see beautiful frame rates. Right as you come back across the cliff, you get below 50 and the game starts that syncopation. Right, it's, it's, it's a hesitation at first, and then it becomes a throbbing, bubbling, boiling mess. <laughs> so watch the, uh, just take it in for a little bit and see if you can see the difference between 60 and then 50. And what you should look for is in the back, uh, as, you're, as you're rotating through the, the backdrop, you see this sort of pulsing, juddery kind of disjoint thing. Is everybody seeing that okay? Pretty clear? I think it's pretty compelling. So if you're not seeing it, you might want to rotate slightly faster. You'll see it a little bit more clearly. And uh, it's, it jumps right at me. As soon as you come off the water, you start the pulsing. Okay, so let's let the, the V-Sync side point at the green door there, the green car, uh, airport part or airplane part. And I want the G-Sync side to start doing the same thing. So give me a slow pan from the, from the right to the left. Okay, and uh, what you should be seeing on the G-Sync side is a completely smooth, buttery motion 
as the frame rate varies between 50 and 60. So even notice as you come off the water and you come into the trees, it's completely smooth. This is absolutely game changing. Yeah, I, I actually, can you imagine now all of your games <coughs> stop tearing? And all of your games dramatically reduce stutter. And all of your games run beautifully smooth whenever we can. Now, obviously, we can't fix everything in a, in a game engine with, with G-Sync, but we can fix synchronization caused artifacts. And that is a dramatic change. Yes. Now, Jensen already mentioned, I got a question, what happens when uh, the frame rate of the game is very high? Obviously, we're going to uh, limit the GPU render rate to the maximum refresh rate of the display. When the f frame rate drops very low, we're going to replay the last frame. So think of it as there's boundaries. Uh, if the game goes outside of those boundaries, we're going to pick it up. Now, what I'd like to do is go back to the VSync side. Uh, go ahead and stop the G-Sync side for a second. Go ahead and point at the door, at the, at the airport part. And on the V-Sync side, give me another rotation so people can, again, really appreciate the difference. On the left-hand side, we're rotating through a pure 60, and then we hit that weird you know, barrier where we start juddering and, and syncopating, and then we come back into a, a smooth 60. Th that, to me, is, is the money shot. I mean, it's absolutely amazing technology. I'll let you just soak it in. Okay, so what I want to do here, if everybody's had enough of the VSync mode, let's go ahead on the left hand side. I want to go ahead and turn off VSync and say, you know, some gamers will not tolerate the VSync latency. So let's take a look at what this game looks like with VSync off. So please go to the options, turn it to double buff. I'm sorry, turn VSync off. And uh, let's go back to the game. Go ahead and apply it. By the way, this is the first time we've ever done eight or 16 PC demo. I wouldn't know how to use a game controller. And so far it's working. I'm excited. All right. All right. So go ahead and uh, start the rotation now. You should have VSync off on the VSync monitor. And what you should see here is, you know, that same phenomenon. It's still kind of pulsing, but now you get the added benefit of tearing on top of a pulsing. You see what I'm talking about? And the interesting thing is it's tearing everywhere. It doesn't just tear when the frame rate's too low or too high. You are actually never in sync with the monitor. Because what are the odds that the flip is happening exactly at the boundary of a refresh? It's approximately zero. One in <laughs> yeah, do you all see that? It's pretty crazy. So you're still seeing the stutter, you're still seeing the judder, and now you have these weird, you know, banding, vibrating badness. And I can't believe this is the way I've been playing for years. Wow. Okay, so now let's do this. Let's go ahead and try to synchronize this so you can see a side by side. Mm -hmm. So I'd like the, uh, the G-Sync monitor to be the leader and the V-Sync monitor to be the follower. And I want you guys to try to stay in sync. Sure. Give mm -hmm. me a nice pan from the right to the left. Did you guys rehearse And this? Mr. No. V-Sync, no. your job is to follow the V-Sync guy. And we'll see how good you do. I'm sorry. No, V-Sync is following G-Sync. And so let's give it a nice good pan. What you should see is, again, on the, on the V-Sync side, you're going to see the syncopated tearing and the uh, vibration. Uh, I've seen that. And on the, if, we, if we're doing good, we're Don't on worry, the G-Sync side, looking beautifully yeah. smooth and nice, nice smooth pan. Uh oh, did someone just say it's much better than true audio? Can I hear by a verbal, <laughs> how many people are seeing the difference? Everybody seeing the difference? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Whoa, somebody's way up and somebody's way down. You guys are together. <laughs> Look at each other. You guys started rotating up and down. Now. Well, it's hard enough <laughs> just to get the trips <laughs> on your trips a lot and get it on the uh, magic. Okay, so we're going to... Yeah, yeah. Let's get back. Okay, so we all can take your...